This is a side grinder, 3,000 RPM. You have to have at least 3,000 RPM. Do not go over 4,000. This is a gray bar, which will be the first cut. This is after you've gotten all of your clear coat off and you want to tape up any of your molding that you don't want to get this material on. It's harder to get off. After we use this wheel, We'll go to this bar, which is a finishing jeweler's rouge type, and we'll use a different wheel with it because you don't want to contaminate them. And then the finish, final polish will be this metal armor, and we'll put it on with the cyclo. And in between each step, we'll also use mineral spirits to clean it off. And I usually buy just a eight pound box of rags from Lowe's and find the ones that'll fit the cyclo. There are many ways to polish. This is the way that I found that it's the quickest for me. The previous method it was taking me 250 hours to do a 25 foot trailer. Now it takes approximately 100 hours. I have two, since we're using two different types of polishes and you don't want to contaminate them, I have two side grinders so I don't have to continually change out the wheels but if you just have one you need to do the gray bar and pick you out a section maybe just the end cap or side piece roughly three feet by four feet or so and concentrate on that for one day it's going to take about two and a half hours to do one and once you do the gray and you're satisfied with the gray then you'll have to take your pad off and put your other pad on which would do the red. This particular trailer is an 85 model and the aluminum they used in it they don't have as much pure aluminum as the 50s and 60s and even the 40 model trailers. This is more of a brush look and you have to get rid of that brush look in order for it to really shine and what we're doing with this particular method is we're putting vertical lines in the aluminum rather than just swirls and the vertical lines are easier to remove. As you make your pass across through here, you're going to go over rivets. It's going to put polish on the other side of the rivets. We want to make sure we remove all that polish at each step. And you want to overlap each time. And as you're doing this, you can see beneath what you might have missed. And there's where you save a lot of time from another method.
when the pad starts getting a little bit cloggy that's when you go and rake it so that it'll pick up this material and, and take it off we have a rake here that we're going to rake this wheel to break it up to make it soft you do that every day before you start and you also do it while this is getting clogged up a little bit As you take off the minerals, the using mineral spirits, you can, you'll be able to tell after it dries if you need to go back with the gray bar anymore. And I can see I've got a, a little bit of haze in here that I want to get out in a couple of spots I missed there. So I'm going to go over it one more time with the gray bar. I've just gone over with the gray twice in this area because I found some areas that I needed to go over it again. But you can visibly see what you've missed as you use this type of method. Now I'm going to, after taking the mineral spirits and using that, and it's a clean surface, now I'm going to use the other bar, which is the finishing bar, and this is a fairly new pad and it'll take a little while for it to start getting a little blacker and, and holding the material better. You don't need to put a lot of material on there at a time, just enough to get it on there and go across three or four times. What I'm doing with this bar is there's vertical lines that I can barely see and I want to make them smaller and that's what we're doing is get them smaller so that the cyclo can completely erase them. Now that we've got the red bar that was on there, we want to clean the area again. Now, this method will get most all of your pitting out unless it's very deep or deep scratches. It'll minimize the deep scratches and some of the pitting, but it won't get all of the pitting out in a, in a trailer or in the aluminum. All right, now we're ready to put some of the finished polishing on. Now we're getting ready to put a final polish on. And these rags I get from Lowe's, they come in different sizes out of that bag. They're just painting, painting rags, but they're cotton. And that's what you want. You want to make sure you don't cover up your ventilation for your, for your cyclo. And you don't put but about a, 
between a uh, roughly about a nickel or a quarter's worth of material on there to do this process. I'm going to put another one on here just to pick up some more of that material quicker. And some people at the end like to use a micro cloth and that also will pick up any material left behind you can see what the amount of material it picked up around your rivets and that kind of thing because you're using a high speed 3000 or 4000 RPM tool. You want to make sure you wear long sleeve shirts, leather gloves, eye protection. You should wear some type of breathing protection. I'm out in the strong wind out here today is the reason I didn't have it on. And the reason you wear your long sleeves is if that if that wheel touches you, it will peel your skin pretty pretty rough so it is a nasty dirty job but you have to be very safe when you're doing it because it is dangerous this side of the trailers pretty much had this first cut some of it has had the cyclo used on it the majority of it hasn't and some people even leave it without cyclo in it and it still has a, a fairly good appearance 